we found an abandoned Volkswagen car that had been sitting idle for over 20 years. This car is the Volkswagen Santana, a model you may not know. It was manufactured in several countries, including Brazil, Spain, and Argentina. An interesting fact about this car is that it won the Car of the Year award in 1989 and again in 1991. Can you believe it? With so many cars, this one was chosen as the best of those years. Our mission with this car is simple. Remove all the dirt and make it clean again. The owner of the warehouse, who also owns this car, wants to sell it for at least $10,000. I think that even new, this car isn't worth that much. I want to know your opinion. Watch the full video to find out if he managed to sell it for that price or not. This car has several versions, some with the AP engine and others with TSI and MSI engines. It is a manual car that is not sporty at all. It takes an incredible 17 seconds to go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour. I think this car is faster than many Porsches and Ferraris out there. Don't you think so too? This car ranges between 80 and 100 horsepower depending on its version. I think this car is more for family outings. Don't you think so too? As I said, this car was abandoned for over 20 years. The owner of the warehouse where we rescued the car told me that this car is an inheritance he received from his father. But he never liked the car much and decided to leave it aside because he wasn't interested in using it. Later, he found himself needing some easy money and remembered the car. But since it was a family inheritance from his late father, he was a bit hesitant to sell it. So he decided to call us to fully restore the car and see what he could do once the car looked new again. You know that for every process we do, we have to select the right products to avoid damaging or deteriorating any part of the car, right? Do you usually make this safety selection in your washes? Do you use products that are suitable for each situation? I want to know in the comments. E galera, ó, vocês estão vendo aqui, tem muito mofo e também, né, as manchas aí.
And what about that engine? Can you guess which engine model it is? As I mentioned, it came with three versions, an AP, a TSI, and an MSI. I will like all the comments that guess which engine this car uses. So stay tuned. I always see people in the comments saying that pouring water on the engine is wrong, that washing the engine in such a way is wrong. But here we have a method that we use, which is actually very simple. We identify and isolate each sensitive part of this engine, select the right products for each type of part, and apply them only to the areas where they should be applied. Do you usually do this kind of procedure when washing your car's engine too? I want to know in the comments. All this dirt that is embedded and seems impossible to remove is actually superficial dirt that we remove using a product and a strong jet of water. There's always that satisfying effect of the dirt being removed. Moreover, this car has been sitting idle for a long time, so the chance of the paint being damaged under that dirt is very high. The best thing in this situation is to use a slightly basic pH shampoo to avoid damaging the surface and to remove all the dirt.
And guys, the transformation of the wheels is a very important part. First, we will remove all that white dirt embedded in the wheels and then thoroughly wash these wheels, first using the slightly basic shampoo and then a more acidic product to remove all the dirt from the wheels completely. It took us over two hours to do this complete detailing on the wheels and the wheel wells of this car. It seemed like the dirt would never end. Considering this, how much do you think we should charge for the detailing we are doing on this car? I want to know your opinion. Rapaziada, já começamos a limpar o assoalho aqui. Tá encardido. Tá podre. Cheio dos lodos verdes. Vai dar uma boa transformação isso aqui. What do you think of the transformation so far? This type of restoration requires a lot of work. Normally we charge a thousand dollars or more for such services. Little Nildo is a guy who helps speed up the work a lot. He is very perfectionist and likes things to be done the best way possible. So we were very careful to deliver the car impeccably to the owner. Polishing is a step that requires the car to be 100% clean before it is performed. 
We do the decontamination part and also wash it beforehand to make sure there is no dirt that could compromise the car's paint. Because that could be very costly. So, did you like the result we achieved on this car? I want to know your opinion. Had you heard of or seen this car before? Our next project will be insane. A Ford Maverick, a model inspired by the Mustang that is very similar to it, ended up being very successful in some countries, including Brazil. This car was perfect, but the owner went through some difficulties and left the car abandoned for a long time. Stay tuned to our channel to see this incredible project. See you later.